गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट टी हाफ ऑफ ए फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन एंड जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन टी हाफ ऑफ ए जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन इज गिवन बाय कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ के डिवाइडेड बाय 2 आर नाउ ओके एंड टी हाफ ऑफ ए फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन इज गिवन बाय 0.693 डिवाइडेड बाय के सो दिस इज आर नॉट डिवाइडेड बाय
then that is type of heterogeneous reaction now next one next one dependence of temperature dependence of rate of reaction is given by distribution distribution curve distribution curve showing distribution curve showing the temperature dependence of rate of the reaction so just i will draw a distribution curve first so here kinetic energy and fraction of molecules okay so if this graph is plotted so fraction of molecules so this is additional one just first i will for explain for this graph then i will draw the actual distribution curve for the temperature dependence of rate of the reaction so i have in the x axis i have taken kinetic energy and in the y axis i have taken fraction of molecules see all the molecules will not have same kinetic energy in the reaction so it is true because some molecules will be in the zero kinetic energy say for about 10 molecules then some molecules will be in the 15 kinetic energy say 20 molecules some 30 molecules are having or 40 molecules are having kinetic energy 35 like that so some range of molecules fraction of molecules are having particular kinetic energy at a given temperature it is at a fixed temperature okay so here what will be the nature of the curve it is like this so here this peak of the curve is most probable most probable kinetic energy so see here fraction of the molecules having zero lower or higher kinetic energy will be very less and if the as the kinetic energy increases the fraction of molecules also goes on increase okay some fraction of molecules are having maximum kinetic energy that is given by peak of the curve my most probable kinetic energy is nothing but peak of the curve so that most of the molecules are having maximum kinetic energy that is called as most probable kinetic energy peak of the curve and after again the fraction of molecules goes on decreasing with the increase of kinetic energy that means the molecules with lower molecules having more higher or much lower or more higher kinetic energy will be less and fraction of molecules are having maximum kinetic energy that is the peak of the curve most probable kinetic energy so this curve is called as maxwell distribution curve for the explanation of temperature effect on the rate of the reaction now observation taken from the graph just i will explain you so this 
is the fraction of molecules having or the molecules fraction of fraction of molecules at the temperature t can be this is the shaded portion is the fraction of molecules at the t plus 10 fraction of molecules at the t plus 10 can okay so here if you increase the temperature of the curd what happens most probable kinetic energy will shift to the right so that towards maximum kinetic energy okay and what is the nature of the curd nature of the curd curd broadens out curd broadens broadens to the right broadens to the right and most probable most probable kinetic energy shifts to most probable kinetic energy shifts to right towards towards higher kinetic energy okay so that more number of molecules can cross the lower energy pathway so more number of molecules more molecules can cross can cross the lower energy lower energy pathway okay so that more will be the number of collisions so more will be the effective collisions just i will give you one word here what is meant by effective collision and what are the conditions for the effective collision that i will conclude here so with the increase of temperature by 10 degree rise then curl broadens out to the right okay and it shifts the most probable kinetic energy shifts to right towards the higher kinetic then or if the reaction moves in this path then these collisions 
proper orientation of the reactant molecules and thermal thermal reactants must be supplied with reactant molecules should have molecules should have molecules should have activation energy now i will explain two more words threshold energy and activation energy threshold energy is the threshold energy is the minimum amount of energy minimum energy acquired by the reactant molecules minimum energy acquired by the reactant molecules reactant molecules in order to cross the minimum energy acquired by the reactant molecules to take part to take part in a reaction okay so just let me give an example so for a reaction there is a reaction and for that reaction the activation of threshold energy range is 10000 kJ per mole say for example okay some molecules a range of molecules are having 8000 moles kJ per mole and some molecules are having 10000 
versus reaction coordinate graph potential energy versus reaction coordinate and this graph is called as energy profile diagram remember that the graph of reaction coordinate versus potential energy is given by this is r and this is p so this is a reaction in the absence of absence of catalyst okay so here reactant to activated energy is the activation energy so now another graph i will draw so that is same reactants to products but ea dash absence of catalyst it is ea and dotted line will be presence of catalyst presence of catalyst and it is ea dash okay ea dash is less than ea so the graph itself indicates that you just decrease the or you add the red catalyst what is the catalyst catalyst is a substance which just take part in a reaction react with the reactant and gives the products fastly and at the end of the reaction it will be regenerated it is the properties of the catalyst so catalyst takes away the reaction in a alternate pathway of lower activation energy so that so catalyst is a substance which takes the reaction in an alternate pathway of lower activation energy so that more number of molecules can cross the lower activation energy pathway easily and rate of the reaction is more okay so here so let me explain in the reaction reactants combine in catalyst intermediate theory so this effect of catalyst can be explained by coarse 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 intermediate intermediate complex theory so effect of catalyst is explained by coarse coarse intermediate complex theory in that reaction in a reaction reactant combines with the catalyst to form an intermediate intermediate and intermediate is called as activated complex and this activated complex is having unstable nature short lived short lived having high energy okay so reactant combines with the catalyst to form and reaction intermediate and that intermediate is called as activated complex and this activated complex is unstable in nature it is short lived having high energy and within a time it will con convert to give the product plus regeneration of catalyst that means catalyst will be regenerated at the end of the reaction that in the reaction where there is equilibrium it takes the equilibrium faster do not affect the forward and backward reaction rates just it brings the equilibrium in a faster manner okay this is the theory where we are forming the activated complex by the reaction of reactant and catalyst that means reactant will combine with the catalyst with covalent bonds so that it reaction intermediate will be formed and that intermediate is having unstable short lived high energy state and immediately it will convert to products and catalyst is regenerated now in the so graph says that so what is the nature of the graph or graph says in the presence of catalyst so i am i am talking about the positive catalyst okay positive catalyst is a substance which increases the rate of the reaction negative catalyst or catalytic retarder is a substance which 
decreases the rate of the reaction. So here, catalytic promoter we are asking in the presence of in the presence of positive catalyst in the presence of positive catalyst catalyst in Total 
by R T and this equation integrated form. Integrated form is given by. Just I will give you it as additional information. Log k two divided by k one is equal to e a divided by two point three dot three into R T two minus t one divided by t one. Arrhenius equation. Okay, here I am going 